everyone, Jessica Whitaker here. I am so excited to bring you along on this photo shoot out in Western Washington. This is a location I've wanted to shoot out for a really long time in Lake Sawyer, about 40 minutes from Seattle, two hours with traffic. Today's behind the scenes video is kind of a lot. There's a lot to learn, you guys. So first off, I'm shooting on film, my Minolta X370 35 millimeter camera. I have a 50 millimeter lens on it. And the film we will be using is Portra 400. I really want to teach you guys all about how I go about composition and framing and photographs. Now I've done a full video all about framing before and it was actually with my film camera too which I'll link above here in the iCard so I encourage you guys to watch that after this but I wanted to bring you along on a full session and really share how I view images and kind of make them look a little bit more cinematic. Lately, I've been really into having my photos kind of look like they could be stills from a movie. And I think a big key part of that is the composition and how you set up each shot. This location has a lot of great lines in it and it's a really cool setting. So before we get started, make sure to subscribe to my channel for more photography videos, tips and tricks. Thank you so much to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. Skillshare is an online learning platform with over 25,000 different classes in photography, design, business. There are so many different courses that you can take from industry leaders. I always am recommending Skillshare just wherever I'm at, especially in the Build and Bloom Facebook group, um, which if you're not a member, it'll be linked down below. I even see members of the community referring other people to Skillshare because it is a great learning platform. Premium membership is about $10 a month, which is cheaper than a Starbucks latte. And it's an amazing, amazing deal because you can go and learn at your own pace. And again, take classes from industry leaders. One of my favorite classes is is Joe Greer. He is an amazing photographer based in Brooklyn. I admire him so much and he teaches on Skillshare. Another great resource for me is anything having to do with finance and my taxes and accounting, especially as we come upon that great season. This is a great chance to dive into a new hobby or brush up on some skills that you already have in photography. The first 500 people who click the link down below in the description box will get two months free of Skillshare Premium. It's free, you guys. Think about how much you can learn in two months at the beginning of the year. It's a great time to get started. So I highly encourage you guys, go check out the link down below in the description for two months of free Skillshare membership and let's get started. Hi, <laughs> okay, Hello. this is Victoria. Please look at how Victoria is styled. I don't take credit for this, it's all her. One of the big things about making your photos look very like editorial is to, well, in my opinion, a life hack, I guess, is more to like match the colors exactly to the surroundings. So since there's the yellow, green, blue in the branding of Lake Sawyer grocery, I love that your sweater is yellow and green. So good. So this is just a way to add intention to your photographs and make everything look low-key editorial, even though we're in the boondocks. You know what I mean? Vibes. One big thing I look for is just the lines within the environment. It's a great way to integrate leading lines into your photographs. The location is like heaven on earth because there's so much great stuff to work with, but because it's raining, we are going to start here under this awning. So one thing I really like about this specifically is we have this great the parking stop things I don't know what they're called but they make sure that your truck doesn't crash into the cinder block of the building um, we have those on the ground that kind of could either make a T shape or an L shape we have the great thick horizontal blue stripe at the top of the building and then we have this awning which I really love and I love the light coming through it you could even go further to say we have the lines in the road behind us with the yellow stripe we have the the telephone pole and then the stop lights and then the green evergreen backdrop so to me i really like this as a canvas i think that there's a lot of potential you guys can also go to buildandbloom.com if you want the hoodie swipe up to shop link below but i really like this setup so we're gonna start out here and you guys will see in the photos how i position victoria so everything lines up really nicely victoria why don't you step on up to the plate victoria i'm gonna have you stand right here Perfect. Okay, so I'm gonna do a torso shot of her, but she's framed right between. Her elbow is barely grazing the wall. Her head is framed underneath the power line and then the telephone pole as well as the awning. I'm actually oh no. gonna switch to digital real quick so I have a copy because, like I said, this is like damaged, but it's not really, but I don't know. Right. It's just gonna take five times longer. Oh, 
how rainy it is. weather sealed but it should be fine no it's fine yeah I just okay so we are back on the awning i placed victoria oh, subtle flex <laughs> i'm just kidding I'm sorry it's like 2019 now <laughs> okay so i placed victoria i really like the detail the little texture of this i think it's something subtle i don't think everyone will notice what is so different about it but it's all in the details what does that jennifer aniston and dumpling say i don't remember the details count i don't know I love that movie though. Okay, so perfect Victoria. Okay, and then I am going to be getting a bit of the awning in the back. I have the telephone pole, which I love. And then I also have just a tiny bit of that parking barrier. So I'm just gonna look at my settings real quick. Okie dokie. So my settings are pretty much still the same. Um, 3.5, 500 shutter speed, and my ISO is of course 400. Just FYI, with film, you cannot adjust the ISO. It's part of what you buy. One, two, and look, perfect. Perfect, amazing queen. Literally love. Okay, I'm gonna do low. <gasps> okay, amazing. Let's see, let's do, okay, this is perfect. Okay, I know, I love the wispy hair right now. One, two, Perfect, Victoria, with the shoulder, yes. One, two, and part your lips slightly. Oh my gosh, amazing. Can we crown her queen of America already? Ooh, okay, are you willing to go into the rain? Yeah. Okay, what if we did a shot? Will you stand, the light's just really cool here. It's almost done raining. Okay, my, eye, my shutter speed is 2.8 and then everything else is still the same. I don't know, this might just be really cool. Um, actually, I'll have you scoot forward a little bit. Okay, one, two, perfect. So. One, two, waiting for this car to pass, for this car. Okay, let's do another, wow, now that it stopped raining, let's do one more. Well, one more. Let's do some more out here. So Susie, I'll have you flipper to Rooney around. Will you get a picture of this? They will love, they love this kind of content. Wait, good still? Okay. <laughs> okay, Victoria, I'll have you come over here. Um, and while there's nobody out in the front, he he he. They should, this is like sponsored by Lake Sawyer. Okay, Victoria, I'm gonna have you just stand right here and I'm gonna try to frame her right underneath the sign and the curvature of the awning. Oh, now of course everybody rolls up. Oh my gosh, Victoria, this looks so sick. Okay, wait, I love, okay, so I'm gonna frame her right underneath the little like rainbowy. It looks kind of like a halo in the best way. Wait, oh my gosh, I love. One, two, I love the hair right there. Okay, perfect, and stay just like that for me. This is perfect. One, two, perfect expression too. One, two, three. Do that one more time. I'm bringing my eyes, or my f-stop is at 5.6 and my shutter speed is at 500. We'll just see how this works. One, two, three. Love this, it looks like a movie. Okay, stay just like that for me. You're doing so amazing. Oh my gosh, Victoria, you are killing it. This looks so good. Like, so good. Okay, perfect express, literally everything. So I have her framed between the Washington Lottery and then also the Lake Sawyer Grocery is right in the middle. Yeah, look that way again. Oh my gosh, amazing. And then I have a bit of this line on the pavement of the puddle, which I think 
this looks really pretty. What if we bring your hair kind of to the front so then we can let it like cascade across your face? Or actually, can you kind of dip under and, and like fluff up the hair on the bottom? Refresh after a rainstorm. This looks so cool. <laughs> You're doing amazing. Okay, wait, this is really cute. When this car moves, let's do one in the middle. One good thing is, since this is a convenience store, people are kind of like in and out, so we don't have to worry too much about cars in our way. But I'm basically just playing with every line I can see. I will line Victoria up against in between. You'll see more in the after photos, um, and I'll explain it even more in depth on screen, but you really want to be intentional about these lines. So I'm going to have you now scoot into this center parking space. Um, yeah, perfect. So good. So she's in between this rock star advertisement. Um, One, two, three. And now look that way again. That was really pretty. I have her framed in between the Rockstar advertisement. I wanna make sure I'm getting the whole side in it, but as well as there's this little bit of pavement that you can see the separation of the old pavement and new pavement. I kinda of wanna skim that on the very end of the photo. I think it looks really cute. Okay, now let's do some a little bit closer into the awning. Okay, Victoria, will you sit up here? Try and go seat on the wild side, if you know what I mean. What are you guys filming for? Okay, anyway, this is cute, right? Okay, so right now, Victoria, we're back on the digital camera, but I'm, but I have her framed within this little uh, doorway, and I think it looks really pretty. Perfect, Victoria. And then tilt your face up slightly. Beautiful. One, two, three. Perfect. All right, everyone, I hope that you enjoyed. I hope that you learned something. Follow Victoria for not only amazing brows and haircut, but also talented music. You do photography, so you shoot film? Yeah. She does it all. So I'm gonna have her Instagram linked down below, as well as Susie's, who is helping film. Make sure to go grab your two months free of Skillshare, you guys. It's a really good resource down below and view all of the images over on my website, linked in the description box. Be sure to subscribe for more photography videos and see you next time. Bye.